Jam Party having picked up the first game and we're just, uh, yeah, early mid part of the game here. Looks like time warp going on the stack here for Pardee. And you can see why he's got a hand of two lands and triple warp. So he'll come on the stack and uh, just say, hey, you want to counter it? Go for it. Let's just start working through it. Yeah. And going to see. Players are on Jiro Dome. Nice turn it was <laughs> turn in his <laughs> probably <laughs> warp as well. Physics That's turn counter. <laughs> sort of un a time game but he's decided okay so David is pretty close to being able to just um, cast that phoenix get that in play out of the yard maybe potentially j even just go for a faithless looting here but um, looks like he's also play uh, trying to see the best way he can play around whatever Sam can play uh, Sam's got all the man in the world here. Brainstorm to start things off. Ooh, there's a Stormwing Entity. Yeah, great Brainstorm here. Gives David a threat. Now, this is, you know, situation, the situations like this, you just go, well, you know, I don't have a way to interact anyways. Um, I'm just going to run out the Stormwing Entity. Best I can do. I can still bluff Mystical, uh, Mystical Dispute. I can still bluff Lightning X, right? But you probably just want to get something going here. Wow. Yeah, that's risky biz, right? There's a lot of cards there for Sam Pardee that he could find to uh, really put a wrench in the works if if David passes with just one blue source available. He's actually going to go for expressive okay. iteration, trying to hit that land into the Stormwing Entity, it looks like, Paul. Yeah, I mean, there's a... And he did. Oh, Arclight Phoenix. But the Phoenix is going to have to go into the library this time, unfortunately. But it will mean that he can play the Steam Vents untapped and play the Entity if that's the if that's the thing. He could also take a turn off here and just... Oh, wow. I was going to say he could have also taken a turn off and just leave up two mana to represent Negate. Or right. either Gust or Fry. But it looks like that's not going to be the case. And, uh, and Sam Pardee... <clears throat> well, at least be aware that uh, he can not get hit by those two mana cards. There's a double arc light Phoenix coming in here, but this is a, an open door for Sam, at least on some level. He does still have to, or at least will. Ooh. Oh, ooh. oh, ooh. no Mrs. way. His mastery off the top is perfect. He's got it. He can go for his eighth land next turn, and it doesn't matter oh, about and mystical you, dispute. You can't dispute this. Oh, <laughs> So he's going to get at least triple time warp brainstorm. What Jeez. else was in there? I don't know, but you could probably find a way to win with three extra turns. You'd think so. Oh my goodness. Triple time warp <laughs> brainstorm. There is an ether gust that he gets to cast to put a phoenix away as well. <laughs> what a turn for party. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. What a card. Mizzix's mastery. Wow. Cheon touchdown, unbelievable. Let's see what he finds here. Whoa, that's a lot of action. He's going to be able to churn through expressive iteration, but the important part about that is that he has three turns after this with which to take advantage of the cards from expressive iteration. Look at all those time warps. Incredible. You see that little uh, sign on the side? It has a th times three. <laughs> and yeah, get in there with the token, yeah, Sam Party. Why not? You do you, buddy. Yeah, right. and now Sam gets to look at eight cards here, too? Yeah. Three, six, plus the extra draw steps. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And he's just going to go ahead and it uh, going. fire it off. Yeah, now he could wait a turn on the on the second iteration and uh, in an attempt to find another land, because he already has the land done. Ooh, Ooh there's Velomachus Lorehold. That also cannot be mystical disputed. And he can just slam it next turn. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any way out here for David Inglis. Sam Pardee with the huge top deck of that Mizzix's Mastery. And uh, a disaster unfolds here for David.
Yeah, I, th I think if anything, Sam might be trying to dig for a counter spell here for a potential Lightning X on the Velomachius. So, there you know, you go. use the Prismari command, filter through. You don't really need Anger of the Gods here. Um, and just see if you can find a way to protect your Velomachius. Yeah, and remember, he'll have another draw step to go if he'd like as well. He still has two more turns coming. So he can, for example, cycle the cycle. Raugrin Triumph yeah. to try to set up the best he can. He's trying to reduce the outs. Oh, and nope. a mystical dispute. He's going to wait a turn. Yeah, he's just going to wait. It, very, very heads up, right? Because you're going to get one extra turn here. This way, you can go Velomachus next turn and still hard cast Mystical Dispute to counter Lightning X. <laughs> There's Mystics' Mastery. Actually, not quite pretty as good. decent graveyard <laughs> again, but not quite as good as last time. Yeah, so now the way is clear here. Velomachus Lorehold is going to hit the battlefield with a hard counter in this situation available, and it's going to be very tough. Any time warp, although I guess there's only one left at this point. Right. He's going to have to settle for a 5-5 five, five flying vigilance creature that draws him cards every turn. Right. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's poor what Sam. he's settling for here. I think we all feel for Sam right now. So he sees Mizix's Mastery and Shark Typhoon uh, going back on top of the library off of the Brainstorm. Down to seven, he does have Lethal available as well as Prismari Command, Brainstorm, Mystical Dispute. And this is one of those situations where he can be pretty liberal with the Mystical Dispute. I mean, David puts a blue spell on the stack. There's not a lot of downside to just being like, dispute it, right? Like... It effectively locks David out from casting relevant spells for the rest of the turn if he pays, and uh, if he counters back, well, it's similar effect. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, as with what David has in hand, I just I, I don't see him. Yeah. Finding a way to to get this Velomachus off the battlefield. Sure, he can play a creature, but you know, I think his best bet here is maybe trying to find a fry here, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he's looking for. But now, I mean, he's out of. He's he's out of options here. Um, yeah, you, know, you could you could flashback Faithless Looting to try to find a fry, uh, but once that happens, I think you might see Sam potentially fire off Mystical Dispute. Could also choose to keep it in hand because you might want the dispute for a uh, potential Lightning Axe. But I think you would have seen David go for the Lightning Axe on the previous turn. Right. So. This deck, when it goes, does some pretty splashy stuff. Oh, yeah. Eight mana, brainstorm, put creature on top of your library, take three extra turns. Thank you very much. Oh, you know, uh, uh, there's there, there's the fry. Okay. okay. So that answers Velomachus, but remember, I mean, we still got a couple of tokens here. Prismari Command is two extra damage as well. Then we have Mizix's Mastery. Are there any Prismari Commands in the graveyard? Uh, I think there there think might be. Well, there's definitely two expressive, expressive iterations. iterations, and that's a lot of cards, too. Right. So what I'm saying is, if you go two to the face with Prismari Command here, that puts yep. David down to five. The two tokens put you down to three. You have Mizix's Mastery in the graveyard. So, so now with, you're at one. The, you're at one, at the very <laughs> least. Yes. And that's with the token still on the battlefield, it should also be noted. Still, really great stuff here from David, just to to dig as deep as possible to find the fry, which is exactly what he does. But yeah, I think we're just going to see Prismari Command here from Sam Pardee get in for three with this Arclight Phoenix. He's probably just going to even loot to find more Prismari Command. I wouldn't be surprised at all if he if he dr draw two, discard two. No, he's okay, actually going to make a treasure. Tre treasure is also reasonable because remember, you're gonna you're going to cast Mizix's Mastery and mm -hmm. uh, cast a bunch of spells. And off the expressive iteration, you want to just be able to cat. Well, never mind. He just has lethal. There were there were two prismatic. <laughs> there commands was another. In the okay. Yeah. Good. Good. There you go. All right. All right. So the easy way <laughs> here for Sam Party, and uh, he's just going to get the job done off of double. Prismari command, sure, cast a bunch of other stuff. In fact, he did it in the other order, so now David has to sit here and uh, and watch. He could also concede, of course. Uh, he could. And there he goes. There that is. is Sam Pardee picking up the win on the other side here, and that's going to put him in the upper final against John Girardeau.